All right, Mortal Kombat fans, your time has come. There is a fa another fan working on a port of Mortal Kombat 1 to the Nintendo Entertainment System. Yes, the original 8-bit Nintendo. I'm, I'm just as surprised as you are. What's even more surprising is how awesome this port looks. Uh, right now, there's a couple of videos. In the last six months, three months specifically, this port has uh, really taken on uh, a life of its own. It's becoming more and more, much more closer to the uh, arcade original. Uh, graphically, it's it's Nintendo. But within those limitations of the 8-bit Nintendo system, they have created, or are creating, I should say, quite an impressive uh, port of the original, original Mortal Kombat here. I would say their name on YouTube, but I would butcher it, so out of respect, I'm not even going to try. I will have a link in the, in the description below and everything, uh, all the footage and everything, everything, everything. I will have everything linked in the description below. Now, what's interesting is, is Mortal Kombat 1 and 2 both were ported to the, the Nintendo Game Boy and Sega uh, Game Gear, and I believe Mortal Kombat games there was is even, even released on the uh, Sega Master System in Brazil, I believe, but no, no Nintendo. It's kind of weird. I understand that 8-bit Nintendo was not commercially viable when Mortal Kombat came out. At least not for a high-profile title like this. Still, no one tried. Right now, what you can see in the videos on their channel or in the background playing on this video, like Sonya versus Sonya, uh, Raiden versus uh, Raiden, Johnny Cage versus Johnny Cage. Now, you will notice there's no fatalities. There's uh, there's only like one or two one or two hits that have blood. Uh, things like that. This is still a very early work in progress, so these are all things that will be fixed later, I'm sure. But then the limitations of the 8-bit Nintendo, you will notice there is some flicker. There's also some sprites completely disappearing from the screen. On the character select screen, there's some bugs. Just, this all, like I said, this is a work in progress. This is very early. What they have included all, so far already, though, is like a little bit of parallax scrolling, which is interesting because the 8-bit Nintendo is not known for this. Graphically, this is stupidly impressive. I can't wait to see what that what else they can, they can do here. Let me know in the comments below what do you think. I mean, we also have uh, news of the uh, Mortal Kombat 2 being ported to the 3DO, I believe it was. I'll have a link to that in the description below too.